Congresswoman, quick question about what you're excited about today in South Carolina and what the foreign president's chances are here. Oh, my goodness. Well, you can see by this crowd, President Trump is going to blow it away on Saturday. And I'm I'm excited to be here with all of these folks. Um, they know what I know, that President Trump was the greatest president of our lifetime. We had four great years with President Trump, right, everybody? Are you, uh, are you, uh, bring them back. We need four more years. Are you a vice presidential possibility? That's up to President Trump. He'll pick that. Um, but I'm interested in seeing South Carolina turn out big for President Trump and beating neocon Nikki Haley. We're going to beat Nikki Haley, right? Yeah. Woo! Exactly. Yep. You, you, you've identified as a Christian nationalist. There's a lot of talk about Christian nationalism now. Do you feel like that's something that they're going to be making a big part of this campaign? Are you aware that the founding fathers were Christians and nationalists? I mean, I don't know why you think that's such a bad thing. Of course, I'm a proud Christian, and of course, I love my country. Thanks so much. Yep, Have a good thank day. Bye-bye. And what about religion in this election? A lot of people are putting religion into the conversation, Christian nationalism, things like that. Do you think the line is being blurred between church and state at all? Definitely. And do you're pushing God out. Yeah. Oh, so you think they're pushing God out? I'm saying, like, is the separation, I was saying the opposite. Do you think the separation is there's too much God in our government? Absolutely not. So in which way do you see it being pushed out? Well, in the schools and all. You know, we say to pledge, pledge allegiance and pray every day, you know? Yeah. The things have gone downhill since it stopped being in schools like that. And when you look at the sin and how, how much sin we have in the world today and how much evil we have in the world today, to me it's just a total reflection of how less God is in people's lives anymore. And you see Satan uh, statues and capitals of the United States and I, stuff like that just blows my mind. Like, I don't, you know, whether you believe in God or not, the morals and values that go behind that religion or that faith or that belief is what keeps crime down you know when people have morals and values to live by then you have less crime when you don't have morals and values to live by there's more crime we you know you brought up the statue of satan satanism is a religion that's protected under the first amendment yes, now i understand that <laughs> so what, what what would you do about that then i don't know I, I would ask to, for it to be removed. I mean, but it's, it is written and it is finished, so that's my faith. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and as the, in terms of protecting the First Amendment, is that more important? I mean, is it more important to allow that statue to be there to you, or is it more important to go against the Satanists? Because church and state are separated, but also the First Amendment protects religious freedom. I know, right? I don't think that statue should be there. You know, I mean, we were founded in one nation under God, That's you know, right. period. But that guy would come up to you and say, well, Satan's my God, and I don't think they're, I mean, I'm playing devil's advocate. I, I think there are too many Jesus statues on front lawns of churches, and that bothers me. But it's First Amendment, so I'm not going to complain. Right, but I bet they wouldn't do God up in, in the state house. you know? They're going to catch all kind of flat, you know? Uh, do you think church and state should remain separate as it has been traditionally? Yes, to a point. You know, I think I think our founders were believers of our our triune God, and our even our money says trust in God. So that God is that God, not other people's gods.